after the release of Devon, which is the first AI software engineer that is outperforming many frameworks on completing human tasks, there have been many other new frameworks trying to replicate the same performance or even surpass it. This is where I would like to introduce Open Devon. This is another open source alternative to Devon, which is now allowing you to install it locally and execute various tasks with it. Now, with Open Devon, you can see that this is another autonomous AI software engineer, but in this case, it's capable of executing complex engineering tasks as well as collaborating actively with the user on software development projects. This means that you work hand to hand with it and you can accomplish various things. And it's something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video. It's a, it's a simple project that's trying to replicate, enhance, and innovate something that Devon was actually trying to do, but for the open open source community and it's something that I'm going to take a look at as you go further into the video. Just take a look at this demo video which showcases its capabilities. This is the UI for Open Devon. You can see that there is multiple tabs and two sections to this UI. You have the chat interface as well as the terminal. Now you can also see that there is a planner, a code editor, and a browser. So you have a lot of different functionalities with Open Devon. And in this case, we have this example where we first give this input to Open Devon to write a Python script that gives a temperature in Celsius, converts it into equivalent temperature in Fahrenheit. So we can see that it starts this new task. It's then going to try figuring out different things in its terminal by creating the Python script for it. And then we can see that now that I have the conversion formulas in Python script, I should test it out with sample values to ensure it's working correctly. So then it starts to create this nice user interface. It's going to also give you the code in the code editor, which you can then copy and then you can paste it in other areas. And you can see that it creates this functional Python script for this prompt that was given. And you can see that this gives you a lot of flexibility. It's not just something that will aid you in code editing, but it will also help you in developing different sorts of content whether that's for text or even code. So this is something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video. I hope you find this to be interesting and it's another alternative that you can actually get started with as many of us don't have access to Devon at the moment, but this is a great alternative that we can get started right now. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a Patreon this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business, or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Open Devon. This is a great alternative to Devon and it's something that we're going to be taking a look at as we showcase how you can install it as well as how you can get started. So first things first, you need to make sure that you have a couple of prerequisites installed. You need to make sure that you have Python, Git, MPN. You need to also make sure that you have an open AI API key. So once you have these things ready, we can get started. So what you want to do first is open up your terminal. Once you have your terminal opened up, in this case, I have my command prompt for Windows. You're going to go all the way to the top. Click on this green button on the GitHub repo for open Devon. Copy this GitHub repo. Scroll down. Go back into your command prompt and type in git clone and paste the link in. Once you have done this, you can then now set your open AI API key. So what we're going to do is copy this over here. Now, in this case, we don't have or like since we're using Windows, we're not going to be using export command. We're going to be using set. So we'll now go into the open dev or Evan. Yeah, Devin. 
file and this is by typing in cd open devon once we're in here we're gonna then type in set paste this in and in the hashtag you want to paste your api key so i'm going to collect my api key and paste it in over here so now that i have set my key i can then proceed forward so in this case it's now telling me to uh, specify my workspace so i'm going to change the directory to a project area that i'm going to be working with so i'm going to change this by putting it to my desktop so i'll be right back once i've done this so now that I have set the directory, I can then proceed forward by installing this. So now I'm going to copy this command over here and then install the requirements that are needed for open Devon to be functional. This might take a couple minutes to a couple seconds, depending on your computer. So once this is finished, I'll be right back. Now, once that is finished installing, what we can do is copy this command over here and then we're going to paste it into our command prompt and click enter. This will start the server up. And once this is finished, we can then wait it out and then move over to our, our second terminal where we're going to be setting up the front end. So once this is finished starting up, we can then open up another terminal. And this is by just opening up another command prompt. You can then copy this. Uh, so you can go back to this new terminal, go into CD Devon, open Devon, sorry. And then go into the front end uh, directory within open Devon and then copy this command which is npm install and start installing the front end dependencies so this will take another minute or so and once this is finished we'll be right back so now that the server is started or starting up and that the front end is now installed what we can do is copy this next command which is running the front end and what we can do is go back to the second terminal that we opened up paste this command in and click enter this will start it up so that now we can access it on our local host and in this case once this is finished loading up we can start chatting with it right away and there you go. This is open Devon on your local computer and you're going to be able to start chatting with it right away. So this will take a couple of seconds to initialize the agent. And once it has finished doing this, we'll be then getting started with the open Devon alternative. So you may be wondering, what can you actually do with this? Well, there's many different things and it's a great way for you to actually start building different prototypes for different software engineer apps. And I believe that this is a great starting point in the open source field for getting started in terms of developing basic code or a basic structure for that app. You can get started with developing a front end or even a back end with this tool. And it's quite capable of doing various things with its agents. You can see that they're also continuously going to be upgrading it, which they have stated in their next step. An MVP demo is urgent for us. And here's something, the, the here are the most important things to do. So a UI, this is something that they already completed. They're trying to work on a better architecture. They're going to implement more agents capable of generating bash scripts as well as running tests. They have evaluation. This is something that they're currently working on. So if you go over to their files, you're going to be able to click on evaluation and they're trying to get a better analysis as to how their agents are performing. And they basically showcase how they're going to be using the SWE bench, which is the benchmark they used for Devon. And this tests how it's able to tackle human tasks as well as coding related tasks quite well. So eventually we're going to be able to see that open Devon will be able to do quite a lot of different things in the open source field in terms of technically coding out a whole structure in terms of a software or even coding out the back end as well as the front end of an application quite well. And that's basically about it for Open Devon. This is definitely a great tool like Devika as well as Auto Dev. They're amazing applications and amazing alternatives to Open De or Devon, sorry. And they're capable of doing a lot. And obviously, it's not going to be at the same level in terms of the quality with the UI as well as with the back end of Devon. But it's a great start as they're completely free. It's an open source project and it allows you to build on top of it. So I'll keep on updating you guys more and more as time goes, as well as more updates come with OpenDevin. Going to showcase a lot more functionalities of it in future videos.
I always talk about these projects afterwards on my Discord. So if you're interested, take a look at the link of the Patreon page in the description below, which will give you access to the Discord. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some sort of value. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you haven't already. This is a great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. A great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.